An insect native to China, Korea, and Japan is now causing quite a stink here at home. Yeah, the brown marmorated stink bug is small, but it can do a lot of damage to gardens and farms. Reporter Sonia Goins goes in the garden to show us how to get rid of the invasive pest. You can plant on, you're gonna go on the right side? Bruce Smith yeah. and his family are yeah. busy planting tomatoes on the farm. How many you got left? The Smith farm One. has been a staple in Brooklyn Park for decades. Planting crops is a lot of hard work. That the Smiths are hoping all their hard labor is not in vain. Now, Bruce hasn't seen any of these stink bugs on his farm, and that's a good thing, because not only do they stink, they could take out your whole crop. And I'm not looking forward to it either. <laughs> the invasive insects like to eat just about any fruit or vegetable. That's why it's a problem for farmers like Bruce. Oh yeah, we'd definitely be worried. It's just another one of those little things, you know. It's become a real agricultural pest. Mark Abrahamson is with the Minnesota Department of Agriculture. The ones in the top row, those are the brown marmorated stink bug. He says the brown marmorated stink bug has been known to attack 300 different kinds of plants. One of the biggest things is the way that these insects feed is they have a beak and they stick it into the, the fruit of the plant and suck the juices out of it. So they go after the part of the plant that we want to eat. Getting rid of them is tough. Researchers are working on a biological way to make them go away. These would be other insects that would prey upon the brown marmorated stink bug. Some farmers and gardeners have used insecticides on their crops, but this isn't a good solution for farmers like Bruce. And we, we try not to spray we have hardly used any, you know, um, bug killers in years. For now, Bruce says he's going to be on the lookout for stink bugs. So we'll watch it, we'll monitor for it. In Brooklyn Park, Sonia Goins, 12 News. The Minnesota Department of Agriculture and the University of Minnesota are in need of volunteers to track the stink bug next month. And we'll have more information on how to join that on our website, 12.tv.